Well, I don't want to be, uh, as I say, derelict in my duty. Ooh, my brother said a big bird. Probably don't know what I mean. Anyway, um, I'm always having problems opening this coconut water because they it's from Vietnam and they really seal it so it'll get through without any incidents. You know, I don't know if it's the glue they use or the technique or a machine or whatever they have, but it's always difficult. And hey, I'm having success this time. This is good. <sighs> there we go. Okay. My good old Vietnam coconut water. Pour it in my glass like that. Okay. Like I said, I've been derelict on my, I don't want to be derelict on my duty because my start on my YouTube channel, it was supposed to be for, um, uh, I say, my audio memoirs, like what's what's happening, whatever have you. And it's, it's that, you know, and then of course I interview people on the channel. That's, that's what I like to do. Um, excuse me. My nose is itching. What does that mean? Somebody was talking about me? Yeah, it's probably a lot of people because it's really itching. Sorry. Um, I love that coconut water. Um, but I was walking on the beach this morning, as usual. I did my little walk. I did. I usually do, I think this was about eight miles or something. I usually do at least five miles. Oh, I got a little bit of thing. Oh, you can't see it. So my, I had uh, I had one of my favorite breakfasts this morning. Even though it's, uh, I sort of like on vacation. I, I usually do fruit in the morning. I'm going to do food tomorrow morning um, uh, because is it tomorrow morning, yeah, tomorrow is Monday. Now I do fruit this afternoon, I say that, because uh, Monday is my fasting day, so I'll, I'll just be doing water. Maybe i just do coconut water in the day. Anyway, so I was walking the beach this morning, and when I was putting on my shirt to go, this, this is this shirt here, one of my favorite shirts. It's a Coast Guard shirt, I say it's Coast Guard, and it's all weather, so I like it, and I walked the beach with it. Anyway. And I saw my belly button. I know I see a belly button all the time. But I realized, you know, you're only supposed to have an any belly button or Audi like that. <laughs> Mine's is like a any Audi. I can't explain that to you. And then I got to thinking, as usual. I'm like, what is it? You know, because things been happening, you know. And I've been going like, oh, this is kind of, it's getting kind of, I don't want to say spooky, whatever it is, because I sort of go with the flow. But... Things are aligning pretty, 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 pretty good. You know, I left the north. Yeah, you know, I left. I left the northern hemisphere just when it started to get really cold down here, and even here in Musenberg, I thought it was going to be like chill. Well, it is chilly in the evening, but it's a beaut it's a wonderful walk in the morning. I could walk the whole beach. It's like, it's like amazing, right? Uh, when as a strand, I get the, the sand in my eyes and stuff like that. Anyway, so I was looking at this any Audi thing. So I'm both, you know, and then I've been thinking. I don't often really reflect on my life, except when I'm talking like this, you know. But I keep on going. I just keep on plugging along. And, and you know, things be happening, right? Like yesterday, I went to uh, this art opening in, uh, in uh, Woodstock, you know. And I met some old friends, you know, uh, Francois and uh, uh, Shamila. These are, um, uh, these are people I knew like 15 years ago, 20 years ago almost. Um, uh, in that crew, you know, it's like it's like filmmakers, like artists, you know, musicians kind of crew, right? So, um, so, uh, so, you know, so that kind of thing, you know, and, and meeting them. Uh, but, but what happened was, I went there and I didn't realize that the Sunday trains that come back to Musenberg, the last one is like a <laughs> five minutes to one, right? You know, like whoa, I got more because I got there about ten. Yeah, about 10, 11, whatever, 10 o'clock. Yeah, about 11, actually 10.30. And uh, so I'm gonna be, if I don't get there, I'm going to be stuck. I got to take a bunch of taxis and still won't be able to get back to Musenberg like that. So I'm saying, uh, let me let me just, you know, see this little 3D exhibit or this, they call it the AI. It's sort of misleading because it was about the, the, the polymorph stuff that they make the 3D stuff out of, you know. But uh, I wasn't, it was like, eh. Yeah, because it's, in fact, that place, uh, 48, um, Albert Road, that's what we call the Lower Main Road, was the Lower Main Road. It's like um, they turned that whole space into like an artist space. And I was there when they first when they first did that, like years ago, fifteen years ago, whatever it was, ten years ago. And uh, I was visiting an artist there, 
So I remember that space, you know, it's like, it's, it's really um, interesting, you know, it's good for like up and coming artists. Um, so they, it's interesting what Woodstock has done because they have that, the she she element of Woodstock, you know, would see people, I know people got money from all over the world, they come plop some money down and they go someplace else, you know, or, or however they work that stuff, you know, because it's pretty cheap to live in, well, South Africa. I mean, if you got money, then South Africa is a place to buy some property. That's all I got to say. But I'm not a property person. Anyway, so um, so I knew the space well. And, uh, and I, was, I was just being my normal self. I was wearing, well, whatever I was wearing. And so this lady approached me, you know, oh, you're the best dresser. Well, whatever she said, I don't know. She said something. Because like, you get to start a conversation with something like that. No, she's an older woman, like, which is good. You know, I like to talk to older people. I don't like to talk to, well... The young people don't talk to me anyway. I'm too old for people to talk to, right? So we started to jab and jab and we got to talk about what she's doing, blah, 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 what she's doing. And she has a really interesting initiative that she's she's done other things. You know, she's South African, but she's done other things. And um, I, what I'm doing in Zimbabwe, I'm really focused. It's a community thing, but I'm really focused on young men, not between the age like like 12 and 17. You know, that's that's the focus. That's not to say we're not going to deal with the whole community. And uh, the way we have the way we have it structured, there's other people that, that especially I'm not dealing with any with the girls and nothing like that. But there's some that there's people that we have in place to deal with that, right? Uh, so anyway, so this woman was was, was talking about this thing. She's she, quite interesting. It might even work uh, with what we're doing in Dimbasa. We'll see. I'm going to try to sit down and, uh, and talk to her. Really get down to the brass tacks and explain to her. Like my thing is not like mercurial. We don't start today and we we like boom, it's done. No, no. What we do is we we slow and steady pace, one rung, one rung at a time. We don't skip rungs so you'll fall down later. Nothing like that. So, so it seems kind of hopeful. It's kind of interesting. So we'll we'll see what happens. I don't know like that. But again, talking about my life, it's kind of I mean, everything that happens. It's like uh, I don't have to think. I just have to continue to do, 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 do. So that's I guess what I'm making this little video for me, saying, uh, saying that I hope, I really wish that everybody would be able to do, 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 and not react, react, react. In other words, if you do, if you do you, sorry to be or whatever, then you you won't have to react to somebody else, which stops you from doing you, or it alters what you're doing. So you can't really be you you because you're busy you know in the backwash of others and that backwash will well you know, be quite will, will, will pollute you let's put it that way so you don't want to pollute yourself right i mean you have to evaluate stuff but you don't but you don't want to you don't want to take too seriously all this all this stuff that's coming like like um i was uh someplace they say that um i think it was back in the 60s maybe it was the 70s it was sometime uh, some some time ago that they started this really deep sea um, exploration. I always said when they said the space program, why are they going out of space? They should go down, down, down the sea. Well, I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, but they do see, and it's really messing up the ecology down in the deep, deep, deep sea. I don't know where in the deep sea, someplace in the deep sea. The, the sea is vast, so there's only so much they can be doing, right? They'll see what happens. But the point really is, wherever, uh, wherever, I don't want to say man, because well, we're, Every certain type of man, when they got their, their little, in their little brains, wherever they start doing stuff, they start messing stuff up. They don't know how to like, okay, let's observe first. Let's just chill. Let's just go with the current deep sea. No, nah, they got to go and, and be intrusive and, and all kinds of stuff because we gotta, we're got we going to do some mining here. We're going to do some, we got to get the riches here. And if, if people are in the way, uh, i.e. Africa, African people. Then we just have to rip them out, you know. I mean, we gotta we <laughs> we gotta put some plagues in their area so to scare them away, so we can get that those minerals. If uh, if the ecological system is down there, too bad. But 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 there might be some deep sea uh, so called monsters down there. So I don't know what's gonna happen with that part. And we're gonna go way out of space because we gonna we just gonna go there. We got to go there. And da, da, da. I'm not saying we need to stay on the planet. Whatever. I'm not saying that. Well, actually, I'm staying on the planet. I don't know about <laughs> I sort of... Okay. The point really is, I understand so-called science. And science to me, a science has taken a bad rap in the last few years because the people that are doing science, they ain't worthy. There's the big problem. So I guess what I'm in my little tirade right now um, for this 
uh, YouTube session really is you need to be so much yourself and in and, 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 and in in uh, in tune with nature because I was also looking at something about Hawaii. They were saying that you know the way they've been intrusive like that is messing things up. Before people used to live in harmony with nature. The only way you can live in harmony with what's going on is you gotta spend time, chill, so that you can you know know how to you know be in be in harmony. That's by definition, right? So I guess when I'm when I'm I'm talking to myself about or doing this little memoir with this whatever this tirade is about it's not really a tirade i'm not going off like i usually do um this is a sunday morning nice and calm uh so you know let me take some more coconut water calm myself down a little bit more huh but if you're calm and collective and you just watch first before you leap and you're not greedy and you're not trying to destroy as you think you're building or re whatever you think you're doing then things will work out much better, you know. I mean, much, much better. If you got to, yeah, you, okay, let me stop there because I, people should know what I'm talking about. If you don't know what I'm talking about, then you're probably part of the, <laughs> the problem because if you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't know what you're doing, you're going to follow what they're doing, and what they're doing, I don't know. It's not that good, okay? Just a little... Advice, not advice. This is a little something from me, T, from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.